Good morning, good afternoon, happy Friday. Uh, we made it to the end of the week again. Um, we've got a lot of work going on uh, here at school uh, with uh, adults and students. Uh, uh, thanks for joining the Friday update um, today or whenever you're watching it uh, this weekend. Uh, I've got two things to talk about today. Both are pretty big things, but uh, we'll just limit to these two. Uh, first of all, as you would suspect, we're going to talk about ISASP. Uh, just to, to wind down a lot of our instructions that we've talked about and uh, what we're looking for next week with ISASP. Again, Monday through Thursday next week, we are going to run an altered schedule. Students will test between 7.50 and 9.50, and at 9.50, they'll go throughout their schedule um, as we do if we had a delayed start for weather or anything like that. So testing is 7.50 to 9.50. Uh, our on-site kids will be testing with their fourth mod teacher, and our online students that are coming to Oak Ridge will be testing either in the media center or cafeteria. As they arrive, we're gonna get them in the right spot uh, for our online students. Uh, just a couple reminders, we're asking uh, kids and to do two things for sure. Um, get a good night's sleep um, and bring their their computer their device fully charged uh, for the for the morning i think that will be really beneficial for uh, that test um, so we don't have anything that uh, any errors we need to correct if a computer happens to um, to lose a charge um, so bring those fully charged after the test is finished after a student uh, completes test they're going to close their computer and they can have no devices out the rest of the time up until 9.50. We'll talk with students about that. Um, they can read a book ultimately uh, or draw pictures. Uh, so that's really the only two options that we have uh, after the ISAS testing is completed within each session. Um, so no devices. And, and again, we'll talk with, with students uh, about that. So, so books only. Looking forward to it. Put a lot of work in. Uh, Kim Woods, uh, uh, Todd Lane, Sue Krause have done a lot of work to get computers updated, to get the schedule um, all put together. So I thank them for all the work that they have done uh, kind of behind the scenes uh, to make this uh, all happen for next week. So looking forward to it. Uh, secondly and lastly, uh, I want to talk about seventh graders uh, and seventh grade parents. I've got two things on here on this email. Number one is a PowerPoint. This PowerPoint um, was created by Marta Pomeroy and Jesse Hicks, uh, and they're two foreign language teachers uh, in our building. Uh, it's for uh, next year. Um, so uh, there's a link for parents to uh, uh, click that link and then put what class you'd like your child to take next year. Ultimately, there are five options for our eighth graders, uh, kind of going into one slot. Uh, they can either take Intro to Spanish or Spanish 1, Intro to French or French 1, uh, or Reading. So those are the, the five options. Um, two of those classes, Spanish 1 and French 1, are high school level classes. Um, They're graded on the high school scale. It counts on their transcript. They get a letter grade um, and so forth. So that's a little bit more high stakes. The intro classes will really prepare students for when they get to high school, when they want to take French one or Spanish one. So the intro classes are really preparatory for, uh, for the high school. Uh, and then lastly, reading. Um, again, a, a course that uh, students uh, that may have some difficulty with, with reading uh, want an extra year of, of doing that prior to high school. Um, we will look at uh, uh, numbers and scores and we'll do some recommendations and then have conversations uh, with, with families as well. So seventh grade parents take a look at the PowerPoint that kids got uh, received yesterday and then click that link. Um, I will be sure to bother you um, about getting that updated uh, as quickly as we can. Um, we'd like to do that probably in a two week window. So click that link and tell us where you'd like your eighth grader next year, what class that you would like the, uh, for him or her to take. All I got today. So uh, enjoy the weekend. Get the kids ready for ISAP next week. Get them a good night's sleep. Get them a good breakfast in the morning. Charge those devices. And if seventh grade parents, if you could take a look at that link and, and fill it out for us, we'd appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Take care.